So we've mastered this whole down direction, but if we really want to take it to the next level, we have to go up. Skateboards don't go upstairs. Says who? Scientists? But we are not scientists, are we? <laughs> awesome point. <laughs> Ahoy there. Oh. No way. I have traveled these treacherous seas, lo, these many minutes to find you. Sup, cousin. Good to see you, Willerson. Willerson? Family name. Yo, Duke. Third junior Earl of Stoppinghamshire. Long time no see. Just visiting a poor relation. Oh, how droll. I'm here to invite you to my half-birthday celebration on board my new yacht. Formal sea attire optional, but not really. Your assistant is also invited. Sam's not my assistant. But please leave your toys behind. Oh, and it's plus one. That means everyone brings a date. Except me, of course. To see, to see. Oh, man. I know. He's always been a jerk. Has to top everyone at everything, especially me. So annoying. No, I mean, we have to bring dates. <laughs> Why can't you just be my plus one? Dude, I'm a terrible date. You've seen the way I eat, right? Who are we gonna get for dates? <gasps> Sitting down now. Did I hear something about dates? We're in. Rita will go with Sam. Not likely, like, ever. Um. I'll go with Sam. And make us the laughing stock of the whole world? Um, no. Gee, thanks. FYI, when you're corsage shopping, no orchids. They're so done. See, the thing is, I mean, we already have dates. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Then why did you ask her in the first place? Actually, I didn't. And now you're pretending it never happened? You are a loathsome, hateful boy. Hmm. <laughs> but, dude, about these dates we supposedly have. We need, you know, friend dates, not date dates. Yeah, we don't want to be too datey. Hey, what about Michelle and Tasha? Ooh. Yeah, they're cool. Laid back, up for stuff. <laughs> okay. My lame cousin's having huh? his party on his yacht, and we have to bring dates. So we guys go with us just as friends, though? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. All I heard was yacht, so we are definitely in. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> How does that thing float? Ah, feels like home. Ah, Willerson. Feel free to peruse my closet in the front stateroom if you need something more appropriate to wear. Mm -hmm. Is there an airport nearby? Or is that just the sound of my heart taking off? Hmm. I'll pretend that's not the cheesiest line I've ever heard if you give me something pink and fruity with a tiny umbrella in it. Watch and learn, Willerson. Your cousin's growing on me. Mm. Mm. I love my life. Don't you think we should find the guys? I mean, we are supposed to be their dates. I'm waiting. For what? For you to admit that you have a crush on Will. What? No. He invited us, and I just think we should... Hang out with them. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Wanna bet? Seriously, I'm not interested in Will. Hmm. hmm. I couldn't help hmm? eavesdropping. So, you're not interested in my cousin. Well then, allow me to invite you to my yachting games as my date. Sorry, but she is actually interested in your... I'd love uh, to be your date, Duke. Uh, Because you need to work on those reflexes. Will! Seriously.
seriously. If you're out here, you better say something because there's a cupcake tower in there with my name on it. Will? Over here. Dude? I'm laying low till the tackle shuffleboard is over. You're afraid you're gonna lose again? I'm afraid I'm gonna tackle Duke too hard because he's being a butthead. Hey! Starting now, we're gonna have fun on this big boat or else. Got it? Yes, ma'am. And if those cupcakes are gone, I'm gonna kick you in the shins. Hey, Michelle, wanna play? I need a partner. Sure. There you are. The dance-off is mm -hmm. starting. Willison, mm -hmm. you in? No thanks, we're good here. Have fun. Ready? Mm -hmm. Like him, I maybe like him. I probably don't Just like so him. Just so you know, <gasps> this lay was made with hot house hibiscus flowers imported from Hawaii. Of course it was. I'll bet that Willerson's never given you an imported flower necklace. You're right. I wouldn't say I'm better than my cousin mm -hmm. at everything. <sighs> <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Wait, you really think you're better than Will? I don't think it. I know it. You know it? Ha! Huh. Hmm? Maybe he doesn't celebrate his half birthday on a floating mansion or hand out rare flower necklaces from Hawaii. He probably doesn't even know how to spell Hawaii. But Will is a lot better at being fun to be with than you. And if you call him Willerson one more time, I will pull that stupid ascot through your nostrils. Where's your boyfriend? So funny. Where's yours? Do you smell something jealous? I'm not jealous. <laughs> hey, first you steal Will, then my frosting. Aha! Did I say that out loud? Yep. You're jealous of me spending time with Will. Which means that you like Will. But... It's not rocket science. Wait. Uh-huh. I don't... Nope. Seriously? Nice try. I knew if I cozied up to Will, you'd freak out and finally admit you have a crush on him. <sighs> You're good. Okay, say it. Fine. I have a crush on him. Him who? Will. Okay? I said it. <clears throat> hey, the earth didn't swallow me up or anything. Now you just have to <clears throat> tell him. No way! Fine, I'll do it. Okay, you win. Hi, Tasha said you were looking for me? Um, yeah. Sorry my cousin followed you around the whole party. He's... An obnoxious dweeb? I told him, and I think he'll be calling you Will from now on. Cool. Anyway, thanks for coming with me. Oh, sure. I mean, I had a good time. I mean... Dude, there are many hot dogs. I've been thinking a lot about you and mm. me. The mm. fact is, I really like you. Mm. I could see it in your eyes. Oh! Do you know what my blazer's made of? Uh, Boyfriend material. Uh, uh, huh? Always playing hard to get. So, 
know. When are you going to ask Will out? Gee, um, never. Because there's someone else you like even more? No. Because when I'm around him, I forget how to talk uh. and get dizzy and sweaty and... That's just all in your head. <gasps> hey, here he comes. Mm. Here's your chance. Ask him for a date. Like uh -huh. like uh -huh. Hi, guys. Uh -huh. Are you okay, Michelle? <sighs> That's some ceiling up there. Hey-ho, ceiling. Just here chillaxing. I think she has a concussion. Yes, a concussion. I'll get her professional help right away. Now don't be late to class, Will. Don't always have to be straight up and down, huh? Look, I'm a rug. Owls mm -hmm. are cute. <laughs> huh? Huh? Welcome to Boy Boot Camp. I'm Sergeant Tasha. You have 10 seconds to get dressed for a date. Wait, what date? Eight seconds. You said you were just gonna show me how to talk to Will. Six seconds. Ah! Three, uh. two. How's this? Insane. You've got to think straight to go on a date, Private. Just wear what you have on and take a sweater. It can get chilly. Now let's whip you into a boy magnet. This is silly. Were I you mean... or were you not in the P-I-N-Y hallway today talking to the ceiling about liking owls? Fine, I'll do it. Sergeant. <laughs> if you want to be adored by your guy, you must learn to tie a tie. Put her on me. I don't even know if guys wear those anymore. Tie. That's a court martial. Again. Whoa. I don't even know how you did that. I'm Will and we're on a date. Go. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Focus. Pretend we just ate, but never spaghetti because that's messy. What should we do now? Activities. Hmm. Go for a walk? Ugh. Mm, kind of boring, but okay. Come on, Private, walk! Take things up a notch. Uh, Skipping? I know, we can make up a dance. No! Give me a hint. Right, boys like basketball. We can go shoot some hoops. That's fun. Private, I think you just made progress. Next drill! I'm a boy! Talk to me! Um... No! And look me in the eyes! People on a date gaze at each other. That might need work. Conversate me! I don't think conversate is a word. Too negative. I'm getting tired and crabby. Good! Keeping it real! Michelle, this is your fake date, Lieutenant Sam. Huh. Why does he get to be a lieutenant? What are you being right now? Too negative, sir. But seriously, why the jacket? I have to go to a play with my aunt and uncle later. I am too good at this. Huh?
Did you know Sam could spin a basketball on his nose? It wasn't as scary as I thought. We even gazed into each other's eyes. Uh-oh, Will straight ahead. It's okay, the fake date was so cool, I stopped being nervous. Another satisfied customer of Tasha's Boy Boot Camp. Actually, the only customer. Wait, so because you had so much fun with Sam, you're going to ask out Will? <laughs> and then she was like, what? And I was like, totes. And she's like, cool. And I was like, LOL. Hey there, Will. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Excuse us. Duh, we're talking here. Actually, you were talking. I'd like to ask you out on a date. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry to give you bad news, but... Sure. Uh... I'd love to. <gasps> Never could. This way. Well, that kite is really up there. It sure is. This is fun. Totally. Do you want to leave? Yeah. I've never been on a date, so I guess I don't really know what to do. Oh, it's no big deal. We just do stuff like sit here and eat these pretzels, or we could look into each other's eyes. Lying here beside you. You're my anchor, my flame. And every time I hold you, no one touches the same. Hey, that's creepy. Huh? Whoops, Butterfingers. I mean, no, I tripped. Hey, look, a duck. Uh. Hey, Will, be careful. These are wild ducks. They aren't like the ducks on your estate. Uh. Mm. Don't be embarrassed. Hmm? I'm sure no one even saw us. Quack! <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not a better date. No, you're the best date I've ever had. Well, I'm the only date you've ever had. True, but I really was excited you asked me out. I like you, it's just... It's just maybe we're better at being friends. I agree. <sighs> yes! Great! I can breathe again! So, you were attacked by ducks, then you broke up? Kind of. Huh? Will just isn't ready to date, or be near birds anytime huh? soon. That's sad, and understandable. No, it's perfect because he and I make good friends. Plus, I kind of miss my fake boyfriend. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Hi, guys. Huh? Hi, Sam. How are you? Well, I can't lie. A fake part of my heart is missing without you. Me too. Maybe we can go out again. Let me check my fake calendar. I'm free today after school. Great. It's a fake date. are probably wondering, what in the heaven is old Mr. Grosso doing with the bowl of cereal? Oh, did you bring enough for everybody? Uh, no. Could you open a window? It smells really grainy. Uh, I'm gluten free. No, no, this cereal doesn't have anything to do with you, actually. Huh? Huh? This is my favorite cereal that I eat every morning for breakfast. Oh. Now you know something about me you never knew. Is this going to be on oh? a test? No. Each of you is going to keep a diary of everything you do in one entire day. What if I don't care? I bet you will when you read everyone's diary online. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Online? 
Yes, each of you will post his or her diary on the school website for all to read. If everybody's going to read about my day, then it's going to be the best day ever. Guys, remember that scarf I designed in class? My grandmother knows the owner of Le Boutique and she is going to feature it in her window display. Well, just for 10 minutes so I can take a picture of it for my diary. That's mm -hmm. me, time to hit the gym. You never hit the gym. I do and I want everyone to see my intense workout. Bye guys. Dad? Who's gonna want to read about the ordinary things we do every day? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my days are like boring. What about riding dareways around? That's one sentence. I rode my dareway. Next. What about taking care of a pet lemur? That's not ordinary. I fed our pet lemur. Ugh, only 22 more hours in a day to write about. Yeah, then it's like brushing teeth, sitting in class, eating soup. Soup is so boring. I know. You guys are looking at this assignment all wrong. Sure, our daily lives might be ordinary, so let's make them extra ordinary. You brush your teeth until they shine like pearls from a freshly opened oyster. You sit in class absorbing <gasps> fascinating facts until your brain explodes with wisdom. You don't just eat soup. You eat soup. <laughs> I'm cool with boring. This is gonna be the best day ever. Dear diary, my roommate woke me up and I hate her. <laughs> isn't as exciting as I thought. I'm definitely not putting this part in my diary. Um, there's gotta be something around here that I can use. Huh? Why does this file have my name on it? Julia Nelson, AKA Julia Cooper? What? Hmm? Yes, sweetheart? Oh! Dad, what is this? It's, uh, well, you, you see, it's, uh, um, you, well... Wait, where are you going? Getting coffee for our, um, coffee break. Huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, what you doing? Mm -hmm. uh. Uh. Um, flying kites. <laughs> Good one. I'm putting it in my diary. Will made me laugh so hard I felt my ribs slide into my stomach. Actually, that's not anatomically possible. But it makes it sound more exciting. Huh? And ordinary everyday life is exciting. Huh? Look, I don't really have time for a serious talk. I've got stuff to make up, I mean, do for my diary. Mm. Julia, your mother and I have decided to tell you something and it may be quite a shock. <gasps> Did you sell our private jet? Honey, the thing is, the truth is, you are adopted, mm. adopted, adopted. Mm. Well, mm? that 
That makes a lot of sense, really. I mean, my uh. awesome genetics couldn't possibly be from this family. <laughs> no offense. So, busy, busy day. Gotta go. Uh, huh? huh? Your diaries have been posted, and I must say, there are some... Interesting stuff in here. Mr. Grasso, did you read the part in mine where Sam and I saw a worm broken in two and we touched its worm guts? Mm. Uh, yes. I kind of skimmed over that. <laughs> in other exciting entries, Michelle, my shoes carried me towards the dining hall like a swiftly running puma. Uh. Mm. She went to the cafeteria. <laughs> Ooh, I've got goosebumps. Just curious, mm -hmm. Rita. How much business did that store lose after mm -hmm. hanging your scarf in the window? Okay, okay, no bickering. Julia, your diary especially intrigued me. Yes, well, it was just a typical day. Let's see. You had a valet deliver your breakfast, you ran a major corporation, and you still found time to finish your own Ants novel, create your own perfume, help a prize-winning Doberman deliver her puppies, huh? and box six rounds with a former champion. Hey, I thought we decided that I was creating the perfume. What? Oh, Mr. Grosso, the perfume part is supposed to be Rita's. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> Mr. Grosso, she's so funny. Hilarious. <sighs> Julia, did you maybe exaggerate your day just a teeny bit? No, honestly, Mr. Grasso, it was the best day ever. Hmm. Remind me never to hit the gym again. Places hurt my body I didn't even know about. What a day! Hasn't it just been the most glorious day? Okay, settle. And you can cut the happy accent. The assignment is over. I just feel so... Alive. Did you read the diary of that kid who always wears a piano key scarf? La la diddly da la la la. Seriously, Julia, I'm out. La 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 la. I'm gonna go take a bath and lull myself to sleep with all these people's boring lives. La la diddly da la la la. <laughs> Do you think Julia was acting kind of weird in class? Huh, let's see. She made it seem like the whole world revolves around her chemically straightened blonde head. Sounds like normal to me. I don't know. I just have a gut feeling like something is wrong with her. Hmm. Why are you suddenly so worried about Julia? I don't know. Do you ever get, like, a gut feeling? Only when I smell bacon. Tasha, I'll be right back. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Julia? <gasps> what are you doing out here? Well, I... I get these gut feelings sometimes. And you needed some fresh air, so you came out here? Yes, me too. I have feelings in my gut, too. Sometimes it's nice to get those little somethings out of your system. <sighs> Are you okay? Because life goes on, doesn't it? It does. It does. My chosen one. Hmm. 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 I have made my decision. I cannot pick a designer. My dress requires two. You and you. <gasps> that is just not fair. I should be Julia's partner. Shush. I sense a connection. You two are the perfect combination for my dress. Total magic. You shall see. Go, the clock is ticking. And remember, this could be the start 
or the end of your fashion careers. There is no way I'm working with you. We hate each other. Newsflash. Why do they keep insisting on us working together? Remember what happened in Miss Tilly's class? Yeah, that worked out wonderfully. But the sooner we do this, the sooner we'll get it over with and hopefully never need to work together again. Or be in the same space. Or breathe the same air. <laughs> That thing we did is still sending shivers up my back. I know. I'm also traumatized. But let's forget that thing and move on. We need to put our differences aside and make the most beautiful dress ever for Crystal. Okay. But I still hate you. I hate you more. Well, hello there. How's the perfect team going? Swell. Just peachy. I hear you guys need a little help. A little? The concert is tomorrow and you girls need to get it together. This thing you got going between you is standing in the way of a drop-dead gorgeous dress. And we can't have that. Here is how this is going to work. Each of you jot down your own ideas and then discuss. Now, go. Fine. Hmm. Give me that. Hmm. <sighs> what the? These go perfectly together. See, you guys are the perfect match. Okay, now that you're warmed up, let's get down to work. But first, I think we need some music, right girls? How about one of Crystal's songs for inspiration? What's your favorite Crystal song? Family, Family Secret. Secret. It's, it's a, a classic. classic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dress. It's the most gorgeous dress I've ever seen. But I'm worried about you, Julia. And Why? Because of your impressive talent, Michelle will get the credit she doesn't deserve. It's not fair for her to stand in front of the spotlight with you. But it's her dress too. Everyone already expects perfection from you. But when they see this dress, all people will talk about is how Janitor Girl designed the perfect outfit for Crystal Sparkles. We cannot have that, can we? But what am I supposed to do? Sabotage <gasps> the dress! Nothing will happen to huh? you. Your parents are the school's biggest donors. But Janitor Girl, on the other hand, will never be seen at PINY again after this world-class <gasps> epic fail. I can't believe they're sabotaging Mish like this. I can. I just can't believe we ever trusted Julia. But we can't tell Michelle. She worked so hard on this dress. Tonight has to be special for her. We cannot let her get stressed out. Agreed, but we need a plan. Before it's too late, let's go. You are crazy, Rita. I am proud of this dress and I would never sabotage it. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. I am the rising star of PINY. I don't need to be afraid of hmm. anyone outshining me. I guess I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Hmm. 
What a pity to ruin such a beautiful dress. What if she hates the dress? We spend the rest of our lives hiding in uh, shame. Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> it is perfect. I just knew you two were the perfect team. Congratulations, girls. It's the best dress I've ever had. <sighs> We've got a stage one emergency. Whoa. I'm on it. Are you got it, Liz. Ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. What the? Oh. 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 I don't know who I am, where I came from, but I know where I'm a close call, Tosh, but we did it. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, and what about the surprise at the end? Crystal sure knows how to end a show. <sighs> hmm. Look, I have to admit, we did make a pretty good team. Yeah, who knew? Cooper and Fairchild, almost acting like friends. Uh, okay, Platy Shell, gotta split. I have some serious showing off to do. Mish, we need to talk to you. What's up, girls? We overheard Rita and Julia talking about sabotaging your dress. And planning on doing it all along. She betrayed you. What? And that's why we had to act. So you guys were behind Crystal's upgraded dress? I can't believe it. It was hard at first, but... We did something amazing together. Can you believe I even thought she was my friend? I was so stupid. I thought we were a team. I have to find proof. She can't get away with this. <clears throat> Julia is my twin sister. 